Your brother, your friend, your dietitian, back again for another installment. Three foods to never, ever, ever, ever give to your child before they turn the age three. Let's get it popping. I've worked with plenty of children's, excuse me, plenty of children and uh, plenty of moms that say, my child won't eat this, my child won't eat that. No quiere comer nada. Que va a hacer con él? He's not eating anything. What am I going to do with him? Well, the thing is, is that there's three foods that you should never, ever let your child have before the age of three. We have to recall that we, as adults, we have a better immune system. We're accustomed to foods that the infant is not accustomed to necessarily unless you've been eating it, eating a lot of these foods during pregnancy and also during breastfeeding. It kind of it kind of can have some type of effect. But generally, you have a new clean slate. They're not used to the junk food, the jack in the box, the, you know, the, the McDonald's, all the fast food, the junk foods that they sell in the stores. They're not used to that. Okay, so they have a clean slate, they have a healthy body. The first three years, what you're doing is you're introducing the infant, the toddler, the child to all the healthy, nice, wholesome foods so that you can lay the foundation for their taste buds, uh, th them being open to variety and not being picky, and um, just getting a nice, nutritious, wholesome, healthy base. You're not gonna spoil them. So, the three foods that you should never give your child before the age of three. The first one is, is processed sweets. What is a processed sweet? That includes Reese's, anything made by Hershey's companies or Mars, Mar, the Mars bars and Mars company. Because Mars owns uh, all, the, all the chocolates. So any Hershey's, peanut, uh, you know, peanut butter cups, Reese's, M&M's, um, Snickers, Twix, uh, any kind of candies, not just those, Duroses, you know, the little sweet candies also, um, before the age of three, they don't need any of these candies, honestly, they cause cavities, um, they're just generally unhealthy, sugar overall is one of the most dangerous things, uh, in our society causing obesity, contributing to, uh, diabetes, the overconsumption of sugar causing uh, and leading to diabetes, um, poor uh, poor lifestyles, poor dentition, poor uh, you know teeth. It's not good for the for the child uh, overall. Uh, it comes from empty calories, etc. I mean, it, it, it is a form of empty calories, etc. Um, so you don't want to give them any type of those sweets, no candy. So grandmas, abuelitas, they're gonna want to say, "Hey, he was good. Hey." He's been great. Let me give him a little bit piece of candy, or let me give him some candy. No, madre. No, mama. No necesita nada de eso. No, mom. He doesn't need any candies. Any friends and things like that around you, we don't feed our son candies because this is going to spoil their taste buds and their appetites. When you give them peaches, ma mangoes, papaya, pineapple, etc., those are the natural sweets that they want to be used to. You don't want your child to have a habit of wanting sweets because once he starts, it's going to be hard for him to stop or it's going to be hard for her to stop. You want them and it's going to be bad for their teeth and their overall health. But they have a nice liking for cherries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, um, watermelon, mango, papaya, uh, bananas, um, persimmons. You get the picture. You eat those. I mean, you got to have a healthy, energetic kid. They're going to have regular bowel movements. It's going to be excellent. So first one is no processed sweets. Second one is no processed beverages. So um, this really includes mainly sodas. Don't give the baby sodas before the age of three. You really shouldn't be giving the baby sodas, period. But this the video is about three foods not to give the baby before the age of three. So you don't want to give your child any sodas before the age of three. Why? Sodas contain high fructose corn syrup. More than just that, a lot of sodas have caffeine in them. Caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant. It's a drug. So if you look it up, it's actually classified as a drug. It's an ancient drug we've been using for a long time, since Ethiopia, since 
I, I did Shabbat since Abyssinian, since over in Ethiopia. Um, coffee has been around for a long time. It's hundreds of years old. It's old. It has its purposes. That's another. That's another time period. But caffeine itself, the extract, extracted caffeine is added to the coffee. I mean, to, well, to the coffee, but in its form of espresso. But added to sodas, it works as a stimulant of the central nervous system. But it's not a natural. Uh, it is natural, but it's not natural because it's not in the form of of how it's naturally found in nature is actually extracted and it's placed in the soda. So what are you gonna have? You're gonna have an overly energetic child um, and also it adds, a lot of sodas have dyes and coloring that are also artificial and unnatural. Uh, an infant or a toddler shouldn't be introduced to these kind of kind of uh, artificial colorings, um, things that you know are just not healthy for them. Again, the, back to the high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. There's studies showing that um, that delays the brain's response to fullness. So you can drink a, more of something containing high fructose corn syrup before you register. The mind registers. The brain registers. Hey, I'm getting full, and it can lead to studies have shown to increase obesity. Obesity leads to a lot of other different types of. Uh, you know, um, comorbidities or diseases, all right? Uh, so we want to avoid any of that. And again, more fresh mango juice, right? Orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice, grape juice, water, fresh agua fresca, they call it. Uh, you know, all these fresh juices and water, that's better for the child before the age of three. You don't want to give them any of that. So, so because it has the high fructose corn syrup, dye, and then a lot of them have caffeine. But this also includes those juices like Tampico, uh, excuse me, Tampico, um, uh, High C. These juices that are like 1% juice or less. They're not even juice. They're just syrup, high fructose corn, corn syrup, dye, and a little bit of water. It's not good for you. Your pockets is cheap, I know. But invest the best in your child, okay? The last thing that you don't want to give the infant is fast food. Fast food is a, is a cold killer. It's a cold killer because it's fast, it's convenient, it's easy, and it's cheap. In the long run, it's not cheap because if you look up the cost of a heart attack, having cancer, uh, dialysis treatments, um, all these things that happen down the line, a gastric bypass, uh, heart surgery, they're expensive. So uh, that seems kind of extreme, but let's get back to fast food. Fast food, everyone knows that fast food is unhealthy. Nowadays, it's trying to get healthier. They're trying, the industry is working on getting healthier, and it will over time because of videos like this and because of the viewers who are, who are basically becoming more health conscious. But at the end of the day, fast food is just not healthy. There's, if you go into fast food restaurants, there's even signs up showing that some of the methods, the cooking methods in these restaurants cause, are known to cause cancer. I have a video of that called Health and Madness on my YouTube. Um, but the fried foods, the French fries, you know, the hamburgers, the chicken nuggets, all these processed, overly high sodium foods, these children, you're laying the foundation. Remember what I said? You're creating subconscious habits in the mind of your child for the first three years of his life. So now it's been eating, it's been drinking soda, eating candy. I might even mention chips and other things that you shouldn't be giving them. That's also on the list, but we're just doing three. But now it's been eating fast food. So now it's subconsciously saying, these are the foods I grew up with. This is the food that I've been introduced to. You know, when I first had my bag of chip, bag of hot Cheetos, I had my first bag of hot Cheetos when I was five years old. I burned my tongue. I couldn't. It was ridiculous. I couldn't believe I was eating them. My cousin introduced them to me. And guess what? I went for probably 10 years after that. I ate hot Cheetos was a, the hot cheetos were a staple on my diet those were one of the most unhealthy foods you could possibly eat i used to always get headaches nosebleeds i was unhealthy back then then i changed my diet at around 15 16. so my point is the what we're introduced early on is going to affect how we live and what we eat in the future so please don't offer a three-year-old or anything younger than that fast food sodas or sugary sweets your brother your friend your dietitian back again for another installment bless up